In this part, we are going to talk about frequency modulation. What is frequency modulation or FM? We can define this wave produced when we modulate a carrier frequency. So uh, this time we are going to modulate the frequency. We are not going to touch the amplitude. So the, module, the frequency of our carrier is FC and we are going to change this frequency uh, with modulating signal. When we say modulating signal, it means that uh, this modulating signal is actually our data. So this is our data and we are going to change the frequency of the carrier according to this data. So this time uh, we say XFM is equal to AC cosine omega CT plus phi C and uh, we are not going to touch the amplitude. So the amplitude is constant. So this is constant. So what about the frequency? This time frequency is changing and how we change the frequency is very simple. We are going to put our data inside the frequency. So uh, again, as you see here, data has a low frequency. And for this example, we can assume that data is a cosine wave with the frequency, the angular frequency of omega m and initial phase and am, which is constant. So what are we doing? We are actually writing the frequency here. The omega c is equal to omega c. This is the frequency of our carrier. So this is a base frequency. You can assume that's like a, a offset value. It's a, maybe like a DC. So this is not changing, this is constant, but this part is changing. So if we assume that uh, this is uh, our frequency, so the center is omega c, it's not changing, it's constant. Our frequency is changing according to this one. So the frequency is going to be like this. It within, uh, it's going to change with is within range, within this range. So the range here is a uh, kf, this is the, uh, uh, this is the uh, actually the coefficient. If we increase this coefficient, it means that we are increasing the frequency variation. So it's going to be Kf Am and minus uh, Kf Am. So uh, it means that this value is going to plus omega c and also omega c minus this value. So uh, this this shows our range. It means that the the frequency of the carrier will change in this range. Now this time we don't have the uh, constant frequency. So you can see it in this picture. Actually, it's uh, quite obvious. So this is the modulating signal or baseband or data as we talked before. And now this is our carrier frequency. So as you see, when our modulating signal increases, the frequency of carrier increases, the frequency change. So for this range, we have a high, higher frequency. But as we decrease the modulating signal, this means that this time this value is going low and this time we are going to have lower frequency. So frequency is decreasing here, as you see, it's getting lower and lower. How can we implement this idea, the frequency modulation? We can use VCO. Actually, it's very simple. How can we do that? We know that VCO gets the voltage. So the, we, uh, the, with the controlling voltage of VCO, we can control the frequency. So if we have a higher voltage at the input, we will, we are going to have a, higher frequency and if we decrease the voltage the VCO is going to have a low frequency at the output so this is the best idea for making FM modulation so this is a simplified circuit of FM modulator we are going to explain this uh, in this slide so here we imagine that we have oscillator so this is let's say this is an oscillator and um, it oscillates so we have the oscillation here for now, we have imagined that we have a constant frequency. So the, the frequency of oscillation is FC. The oscillator circuit generally have the C and L, but you have to know this is not the whole circuit. I'm not going to show because this is off topic. And uh, in the future, we are going to have a actually course for a voltage control oscillator and oscillator. We are going to explain in that part. So for now, we are going to skip this. So imagine that we have oscillator. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses, in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.